All right. So this is pretty exciting. Um, Emma Frost is the latest of the Walgreens exclusives. Um, she is here wearing her Uncanny X-Men suit. Um, which a lot of people really didn't like. It's black as opposed to the standard white that she had for much of her history. Um, you can see there's some of the panel art on the side. It's a really cool picture they chose. I really like it. And then there's her big picture full on the back, and it says, A mistress of mind control, Emma Frost uses psionic abilities to read and manipulate the thoughts of her enemies. That's pretty basic. She also has other powers. Um, she can turn into diamond. That was the second uh, mutation, second form of mutation. You can see she looks really good. Let's go ahead and take her out of there. I'm getting antsy here. I need a knife. Let's use a Lord of the Rings memorabilia sword to open her. It's not actually sharp. <laughs> oh, there we go, here we go. I don't want to ruin this box. Is there some way that I can make a title on this video? This is, I'm doing Instagram Live right now. I know I'm going to save this video. Oh shit, I ripped it. I'm going to save this video later. Why am I having such an issue? I should have just gone for the bottom. That would have made more sense. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, Emma Frost. You're being freed. Ooh, ooh, look at this. This is pretty cool. I like that they started doing these kind of things. Um, let's save the box over there. Uh, little backdrops, kind of. It, it, it kind of works. I'll stick that back there for right now. But here we go. Take this off. There she is. Wow. You see, you get a close-up of her little faces. That short hair face, um, I guess is meant to go with the white body, the white costume body um, from some time ago. And then here they have her longer hair head. I really like that the two heads are very different. We recently had a Captain America, it was the 80th anniversary cap, um, and they gave him two almost identical heads. Which a lot of people, honestly, will defend that to the grave because, yes, there are minute differences on those cap heads, but honestly, to me, I'm gonna take her spare head off this. I would have really preferred like a, a grinning cap and a frowning cap or something like that as opposed to really minute differences. Just get a close up. That's really awesome. That's a great head sculpt. Very well painted. Really nice. We'll put her back here or somewhere there. You can see her there. Let's get out her little hands so they don't go flying. So she's got, looks like two kind of, you know, psionic, whatever you would call that, hands. And then two grasping fist hands. I guess not grasping fist. Oh, I always hate this part. Oh, sorry, Emma. Oh, she is really in here. Alright, you get arms, you get tape, pop the legs out. <laughs> She's never going back in this box. <laughs> oh, am I supposed to take the cape off of her to get it out of here? This is, this is more struggle than usual. <laughs> Alright, she's free. The only minor bending, probably. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, look at her shoes. I do have one critique right off, and I know it's probably because of the heels. If I cover those up, it looks better, yeah. Uh, her legs just look super long. I think it's just because she's wearing these ridiculous heels. Wow, let's see if I can get her to stand in them, because... Let's see if I bend you. Let's see, they're very stiff. I wish this video showed me how long I was going for. <laughs> they're very stiff heels. Not a whole lot of bend side to side, if even any. Um... This foot is just as stiff, I would say. Oof. Uh, okay, so let's see if we can use those a little bit to get her to stand. She's probably gonna have to be... Whoa! Well, right off. Standing will be difficult. Hmm. Does she stand? This cape, I think, um, pushes her off balance a lot. Oh, oh, so that foot's good. This foot is too tilted back. That's the problem I'm already having with her. It's just her feet don't bend enough to 
get in the right positions to get her to stand. Oops. Struggle bus. Okay. Well, I'll have to figure it Oh, there we go. Ha! I did it! Celebrate. Alright, so she looks pretty, pretty awesome. This is totally, totally um, gonna be one of my new favorite figures visually. She has the look of that uh, Brian Michael Bendis series down pat. I really love it. Um, she has... Oh, I forgot to bring up my magic. I have the magic that goes with her. I do not have the Scott. Um, the Cyclops came... Well, he was a solo one. He came by himself, but he is running somewhere around sixty to eighty dollars, I think, right now. Out of bo or in box, um, out of box, I saw him for. I think forty, so it's still pretty pretty out there. And let's just take a look at her articulation. It seems pretty standard. Knee joints are a little wobbly, but there are the standard double jointed knees. I'm curious if her legs. They're just standard leg molds, it looks like, that have been painted to look like boots, so there's not really anything special there. The feet might be new. That's pretty... This whole thing goes up. That's pretty fancy. Um, let's see, her belt moves. Her ab crunch is pretty much standard women ab crunch, which I will bitch about on another post. I've done many times already. Um, it does look kind of odd when you twist her. You can't really help that, though, I guess, because of the painting job. Uh, she's got these cool shoulder pads, which look like they will get in the way of her putting her arms up. Yeah. Um, but that is connected to the cape, it looks like. Let me pop her head off real quick. Woo! Head gone. Um, yeah, so that's connected to the cape, and it looks like that comes off, except I don't think that would look any good without the cape on. Let's put this other head on while we're doing this. Arrgh. There go. Ooh, that looks just as good. You can see that would be really, really perfect on that white outfit that she has from a few years back. I'm really gonna have some struggles with getting her to stand, but my goodness, she is pretty. This is, like I said, a Walgreens exclusive figure, um, which are notoriously hard to find. We were lucky enough to get the infamous Iron Man, or infamous Doom, or whatever you would like to call him, um, when they had him. He was a situation where they were only sending one per shipment, and it looks like Emma Frost is the same. She was the only one at the store when I found her today. Um, oh! Well, I just want to get her to stand one more time here. Well, that's disappointing. Um, but I will get her to stand, and she does have, you can see she has the little pig's holder thingies in her feet. Interestingly enough, DC figure holders, or stands, I guess, are far and above better than the Marvel ones, whereas the Marvel figures are far and above better than the DC ones. Actually, I should take that back. They are coming out with some better stuff. I did make a whole video on this, but I haven't posted it because it was just like this long, drawn-out thing of me ranting. Someday I will edit it and post it once I figure out editing software. But, um, Emma Frost, if as long as I can get her to stand, she's gonna look amazing. I want, I wish she had some effects, um, maybe some little blue effects or something, or maybe like, I don't know, you couldn't really make her, her diamond form. Although if they did release a diamond form Emma Frost, that would be pretty sweet. I would, I would like that. Um, but yeah, she's, she looks incredible. She's gonna look great up next to my other figures from this series. Um, which really right now is just magic. <laughs> I do have Colossus, but I don't think it's technically the Uncanny X-Men Brian Michael Bendis Colossus. Um, but yeah, she looks great. Both heads are so well painted. I don't think I did a close-up of this one. I don't think it's gonna focus, is it? Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. She looks great. And that's it. That's, I mean, it's not too much to review on her. She doesn't bend too much, so... And that's pretty much all I can say. <laughs> she looks great. Just doesn't bend too much. But I'm happy to have her, and she was a great find. Keep a look out at your local Walgreens, she might pop up.